Hello, my dear children. Today, let us learn about a seventh standard English lesson, The Blind Dog. Let us listen the story of The Blind Dog written by R.K. Narayan. R.K. Narayan, an Indian writer, his full name was Rasipuram Krishnaswami Iyer Narayana Swami. He was born on 10th October 1906 at Madras Presidency in Chennai. His awards were Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan and Sahitya Academy Fellowship. He died on 13th May 2001 at Chennai. The Blind Dog is one of the most popular stories of R.K. Narayan from his collection Malgudi Days that discusses the story of a dog and his loyalty towards his blind master who is a beggar. This is a commonplace dog and the tail was mutilated at the young age but don't know who did this cruel act. Born in the street, picked up garbage food from the marketplace. He had spotty eyes and fighting with other dogs and had hundreds of scars on his body. In the afternoons, he lay curled up under the culvert at the eastern gate of the market. In the evening, he set out on his daily rounds and engaged himself in fights, picked up edibles on the roadside and was back to the culvert by nightfall. The life of the dog went on for three years. After three years, dog's life has been changed. A beggar of blind of both the eyes appeared near the marketplace. A woman was taking care of him. She led him up there early in the morning. seated him at the gate and came up again at midnight with some food and gathered his coins and took him home at night. In this way she was taking care of him. One day a dog approached the blind man means came near the blind man. The dog started to lick blind man's hand. Every day blind beggar threw a handful of food to the dog and the dog ate gratefully. This way, friendship between them started. As the days passed, the dog understood that the passerby must drop a coin and whoever went away without dropping a coin was chased by the dog. The dog used to tuck the edge of their clothes and pull them back to the old man and allowed them to go only after something was dropped in his bowl. One day, a village urchin, means a young boy, who was mischievous trying to pick up coins from blind man's bowl. The blind man, helpless and was helpless and shouted, Every Thursday, three vendors, means sellers, appeared near the eastern gate. One was a perfume seller and another one was a storybook seller and the third one was ribbon vendor. These three vendors gathered under a same arc. As village urchin comes every Thursday to trouble the beggar, the beggar made peculiar noise and called his dog when the dog was about to move towards the bowl. The dog immediately sprang on him and chased him out of the market. Children, here in this pic, one of the vendor commenting about the bond between the dog and the blind beggar. Can you tell me who was taking care of the old man? Yes, old woman. And that day evening, old woman who was taking care of the old man failed to turn up and the blind man was eagerly waiting her 
at the gate. Then a neighbor came to the old man and said, She has died this afternoon. The beggar lost his only support he had. Then the ribbon vendor suggested the blind man to take his white tape and to tie the dog to lead him. Now the dog lost its freedom completely. He took the place of the old woman. It had to forget his old life and simply has to stay on forever at the end of the string. When he sprang up on other dogs, he used to get kick from his master. He lost his own orbit of moments and contact with his fellow creatures. And he lost his freedom completely. The blind man depended on the dog and this made him as a merciless slave driver. The blind man started earning more and more because he started to move around as the dog was leading him. Wherever he heard the voices, he stopped and held out his hands for arms. He moved towards the shops, schools, hospitals, hotels. He left nothing about. The dog protected the blind man from all danger and the blind man depended on the dog. He is to shout like bullock driver when the dog was tired to move forward. Still the dog was protecting him inch by inch on safe ground and steps. For this sight, people gave coins and helped him. Even the children gave him to eat. The blind beggar named his dog as Tiger. The dog had rest only when the old man sat. The blind man became greedy for money. He felt that resting will not help him to make more money. But the dog was tired and refused to move. Whenever the dog slowed down, he used to get a kick from his master. At night, dog was wailing with the hectic rounds of whole day. He lost his original appearance. As the dog was slaying because of his cruel master, the three vendors had a meeting among themselves. The perfume vendor's eyes caught to the pair of scissors dangling from the ribbon rack. He took the scissors and when the blind man was passing in front of the eastern gate, the dog was straining the lead. There was a piece of bone lying. The dog was straining to pick it up. The blind man tugged the string and kicked the dog. The dog howled. Same time, perfume vendor stepped forward and applied the scissor and cut the cord. The dog bounced up and picked the bone. The blind man stood helplessly with the other half of the string dangling in his hand. He started to call his dog, Tiger, Tiger. The perfume vendor moved away quietly, saying, You heartless devil! You will never get it get at him again. He has his freedom. The dog went up at top speed. The dog was very happy. The dog moved everywhere, especially to his familiar places, met other dogs, ran round and round the marketplace, sparkling with joy. Children, observe this picture, the three vendors, the perfumer, the ribbon vendor and the bookseller. They were very happy to see the blind beggar who was helpless without a dog. 
the blind beggar started to wail, groped about, tried to cross the road, trembled and struggled to move. The three vendors did not show any sympathy to him and they started to say, you deserve it. Finally, he was able to come to his chowl tree veranda with the help of someone and sank down on his gunny sack bed with the strain of his journey. The three sellers were commenting among themselves. The dog must be loafing over the whole earth. Free and happy, the beggar is perhaps gone forever. Same time, they heard the familiar tap-tap of blind man's staff. They saw the blind man coming up to the footpath led by the dog. They were surprised and shocked. The ribbon seller ran and asked the old beggar, Where have you been all these days? The blind beggar replied, Slept on my bed. The dog had come back and licked my hand. The dog returned to his master, but the heartless beggar thought that the dog returned back because of real hunger. But the dog had real love for his master and he returned back. This time the blind man tied him up with a steel chain. Once again they moved around in the marketplace, the cruel master and the slaving dog. The ribbon vendor commented that death alone can help that dog. And he continued saying, What can we do? A creature who returns to his tomb with such a free heart. I hope you understood the story of the blind dog. Children, I know that still you will have a doubt. Why the title is named as Blind Dog? Why? Can you tell me? Because... Though the dog was not blind, it followed the blind beggar's orders blindly. Thank you children for listening. Kindly like, comment and subscribe my channel. Take care. Meet you again to learn a new poem, Sonnet.